Welcome to this AutoCAD electrical tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use the marking menu, a powerful tool that streamlines your workflow by providing quick access to commonly used tools. By mastering the marking menu, you'll be able to navigate your designs more efficiently and enhance your productivity. Let's get started. For those of you who've been using AutoCAD for any amount of time, you know that if you right click your mouse, you get a context sensitive menu. So for example, right now I'm just at the command line. If I right click my mouse, I get this context sensitive menu that has options on there like repeat the previous command or look at things that are on the clipboard or all that kind of stuff. But in AutoCAD Electrical, the right click has a little bit more power. If you right click on any AutoCAD Electrical option object, you're going to get a different option. Let me show you how this works. First of all, let me right click on a non AutoCAD electrical object like this line. It's just a polyline, it's actually just a block. If I right click on it, I get some tools that you know, would, you'd normally expect to see in a regular AutoCAD application. If I right click in Nowheresville, just out on the, in Nowheresville, I get the same thing. Okay, I get those same kinds of tools. However, if I right click on any AutoCAD electrical object like a wire or a component or something like that, I'm going to get different tools. So for example, here's a wire. If I right click on that wire, I get some different tools. Notice that it even looks different. It, this is what we call a marking menu. And I just right clicked and let go. And notice that as I move my mouse around, I get this spoke that kind of goes out and allows me to pick these different tools. So if I wanted to do something with this wire, I could right click on it and I can say change or convert the wire type or trim the wire or, you know, insert a wire or whatever it happens to be. If I want to do other things, I can come down here and choose other things on these flyouts. Okay, so I could edit the wire number and so on. Or if I didn't want to do that, I can just say, hey, exit that. On the other hand, if I come over here and I right click on a component, notice it gives me again that that context sensitive marking menu, but now the tools are different. Edit the component, delete the component, surf to other places where it's in the, uh, in the project, all that kind of stuff. So it gives you a great flexibility of using all of the different tools without having to come up here and find them on the uh, ribbon or typing them in at the command line, which can be kind of slow. Now, in addition to right click and pick it like this, if I know I want to change that wire type, I can just right click and hold the right click down and drag up and it'll automatically take me to that. Okay, let me do that again. It's, it's right click and hold that right click and then drag it up. If I want to trim, same thing. I'll just go to like about the one o'clock position like this and it's gonna allow me to trim that wire out. Okay, I'm gonna undo that, control Z couple times here just to get that wire back. But the marking menu allows you to find those tools that you would that you're probably looking for when you're working in a document without having to come up here and find it on the ribbon and or type it in the slow way. 